Evening everyone. Who is up for some classic play along GeoGuessr? I know I am. Um, and I'm going to take a punt on this map that I've just discovered. It's like the GeoDetective map, but apparently it's perfect. Um, it's created by Guiros. Uh, he reckons 25k score is always possible, but some rounds are harder than others. Meta knowledge is not required. Well, that suits me. And the compass is never wrong. Right, we're going to play it with panning and zooming, of course, but no moving because that's how these maps are intended to play. Just before we start, though, folks, um, I now have Instagram. I didn't really want to get Instagram for quite some time. Uh, but the reason I've ended up getting it is um, purely to make links to find fellow adventurers, content creators, uh, you know, filmmakers, musicians, uh, and sponsorship people, uh, businesses, just so that I can elevate the channel to the next level in terms of my adventures. So there'll be lots of snaps of classic moments from my adventures on there. It's mainly revolves around my real life stuff. There's not going to be much GeoGuessr stuff, but I thought I'd let you guys know anyway, just in case you wanted to follow me. Um, so the link will be in the description, along with the instructions to play along with this video. Let's see what this map is all about, and let's see if I can get a perfect score. That is what I'm aiming for here, very much so. Now already here, without even panning, are we seeing a sort of pink you to these registration plates putting us in Belgium I don't know we've got a Tesla a Fiat a Mercedes a Volkswagen and a Volkswagen a Volkswagen Volkswagen Citroen and a Mini so I'd say pretty Belgian let's have a look over here Lift Gesund something West Stark at Stell West yeah that sounds pretty... Oh, there we go. There's the BE. Welcome. By Vlut. Sounds pretty Belgian. So this could be like Oostend or... I'll have to look on the map, actually. I can't remember. Havenmaster. Oostend. Yeah, Oostend. So it's Zeebrugge is the one I was trying to think of. Zeebrugge and Oostend. The ports that lead into Belgium with these massive wide canals um so this one isn't too hard i mean i'm wondering whether this map is easier than the usual one but we can definitely get this oost end yeah and then newport because i i know these places because when i did cycle down the up the coast uh i should say i went through a lot of these places depan kike Kike Dune, was it? Uh, and I remember getting to some big rivers that I couldn't cross. But Oostend is much further up. Here it is. So we should be around here. No, we're, we're up by the beach, so we're further up. So we should be there, I would have thought. What's this baldy doing? Is he the lifeguard? Oh no, he's the toilet uh, attendant. Ha! <laughs> Very different jobs. Okay, let's go in. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Cool, five yards. Amazing. So, ah. Straight away, I think I know where that building is. I think it's in Malmo. The Turning Torso, it's called. Oh, there you go, look. Uh, so it's definitely the right building that I was thinking of. The Turning Torso. It's, uh, I mean, it's a pretty cool design, but it, it's one of those buildings, it seems, that they clad it in white, and it kind of gets a bit grubby after a while. There's, there's a couple in Birmingham that aren't that old. They're only like... 10, 15 years old, and they already look quite tired looking, but maybe it's kind of the, the, maybe it just needs a bit of a clean, or maybe it's the imagery. Anyway, so we're in Malmo, I presume. So th this is another one 
that won't be hard for me. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any other giveaway clues that say Malmo, because that really would... No, I don't think there is. That's good. That means it's not like a totally easy map. Um, and this shouldn't be too hard for me to find within Malmo, because we should be able to see like the the shadow of it. I think it's near the sea. But it, it, either way, it should. If it's not the the shape of it, we should be able to see the writing, um, the the label for it. Let's see if we can actually see the sea, because I thought it was by the sea, but it might not be. It's very flat. Is it way over here? No. I had this idea, ah, there it is. It is near the sea, turning torso. Uh, iconic twisted and sculptured tower block. So we should be there. If I line the compass up, yeah, that is where we are. That road is closed, why is that one closed? I think they've made it into cycle paths, have they? Who knows? Um, but yeah, that is us. Four yards this time. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. That'll be some achievement. Oh my goodness. We're up on a building. This reminds me of the other map I used to play, Bird's Eye. Bird's Eye View. This could be harder. This. Look at the colours of these houses. What are they? <laughs> I have no idea at the moment. I need a challenge. I need this to be a bit more challenging for me and I think this is. Oh. Look at that building. We got a Ferris wheel. Insane buildings. That one over there. I've got an idea. But it's nothing more than an absolute punt. And McDonald's down there. So these buildings, first of all. At first I thought they look, and they do look quite Norwegian. Um, or Icelandic. Or even sort of somewhat Slovakian. You know, Eastern European. But this obviously isn't. Um, I mean, if you look at these buildings, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's Eastern Europe. Just look at these and I think, look how spread out they are. Is that something you would find in Eastern Europe? Like Warsaw or, you know, Kiev or something. I don't think so. And certainly not. I mean, this is obviously not somewhere like... I might be wrong, but I don't think this is somewhere like Kiev because it just goes out into this barren land. For me, this looks like somewhere more like... Ashgabat is probably my... is an option. This is a fascinating building. Ah, the, there is, there is Cyrillic. So that is Russian or Cyrillic language script. And there is the giveaway, guys. There's a bloody flag. It's um, it's in Kazakhstan. So I wasn't a million miles away, but it will be. Well, what is the capital these days? Is it Astana? Gotta be, hasn't it? They've changed the capital a few times, but we've got water over there to the east, which doesn't really add up. And we should have a river, the Ishim River. There's a river. The water to the... Sorry, we should have water to the west. Sorry if I said east which I can't really see. 
but we should be able to get this. There should be a sort of valley in the middle with not much on it. That would be that bridge. And then there'd be one big main road. Hmm. Unless that was the bridge. Presidential Park. Just trying to size it all up, guys, and see if this actually is the place. Because at the moment, I'm not sure. I'm thinking not. But I'd say we would be there. Is there a is there a McDonald's here? Can't see one. We're not on a building, by the way. I think we're just, you know, it's drone footage. And then that huge palace there. Sultan Mosque. But that just leads right out of town without bending around. So let's look around a little bit a little bit more. Opening my ideas up to the idea that the compass is wrong now as well. So like for example, if we were in Astana, us being on this side. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. The compass is completely wrong. Ah. Damn you. Um, okay, so yeah, with uh, that, I think anyway. Yeah, that will be the Triumph Astani. So we're probably about there. There's the McDonald's. Well, I should have, I, that I, to be fair, I should have um, realized that as a possibility a lot earlier. But part of that is on the map maker. He did say that it was all 100% of the Compasses were correct, and I've just noticed. Oh no, thought that said Astana on it, so it is Astana, of course. We're in line with the edge of that building, so I would say we're more like there. Um, but this might not be totally accurate. We're also in line with sort of that, so I would say there. Uh, let's try it. Two yards. Ah, oh, that's so good in that isn't three. <laughs> yeah, of course. That is stupid of me not to explore that possibility. But there you go. So yeah, you can see the road heading out of town there. This one, that one completely straight. I got there. <laughs> Number four. I need a glass of water. Let me know if you got that. I'm sure many of you did, but were there any of you that went down the same path as I did and just didn't consider that the compass could be wrong? Let me know. Did that scupper your game? Because I'm still on a perfect score at the moment. So, that I believe is the Taiwan flag. That is some bloke from Taiwan. Um, Chinatown branch office... Ah, <laughs> just realised where we might be. I think we might be in San Francisco. Well, I mean, that is a clue. Um, Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall of San Francisco. So I did think it didn't have a very Taiwanese look to it. Um, or Chinese for that matter. So yeah, we're in, we're in Chinatown, San Francisco, which I've had on another map before. But on this occasion... Yeah, they've definitely put us here on purpose to throw the cat amongst the pigeons. Taiwan flag is, is in support of Taiwan, uh, who are imminently going to be invaded by the ruthless, evil China. <laughs> um, and it's accompanied by American flags. Um, our heartfelt thanks. I mean, we, yeah, we don't need to look around too much. I mean, we could do a bit of old school... You know, geo guesser, let's take the piss out of people. 
within reason. Within reason. I used to go a bit too hard, didn't I? Because I was a small channel. I can't really do that anymore. But this guy's haircut is standing out. At that point, you just you just shave it off, don't you? That's the general consensus. Um, international Dragon and Lion Dance. What is that? Because, funnily enough, when I was in San Francisco... Um, when COVID was just actually in its early days, February 2020, we did see a lion, a dragon dance coming down the street as part of some festival. So maybe that's where they store the, the thing. Um, yeah, we're ready, I think. Are we? Anyone else? You got lucky. So I just saw Sacramento. So that will be the street, won't it? And they're about to head into a tunnel and it's heading south. Although as we've learned, we can't fully rely on the compass. Play Sacramento. Let's get in there. It's up here somewhere, Japantown. Civic Center, it's up here. Here we go, Chinatown. Sacramento is there. Clay, there's Clay and there's Sacramento, but we don't know which which street we're heading up north to southwise. But if we find this tunnel, then that should be it. So we should be, that's a tunnel, isn't it? Yeah, Stockton Tunnel. Can't see any other tunnels particularly so I would say that's right um, we can also try and find some establishments Central Chinese High School and the Memorial Hall there it is Central Chinese Chinese Central High School and can't see the Memorial Hall, but that's good enough for me. Uh, and we're right by this bus stop. I mean, we're in the middle of that. I'd, I'd, I'd be happy with that guess. Let's see if we can get one meter. Ah, oh, it's six. It's bloody six and it's wrong. Um, but that is 5,000 points. We are now on 20,000 points. We're on for the perfect score. We just need this final round to finish it all off who else is with me on that who else is perfect let me know right that feels like island i don't know oh let's look at the sign castletown foxdale st mark's can't be island because we've got the yellow number plate at the back it's not driving on the right. It's not. That's not terrible driving. It is parked up. Uh, so this is this is probably Northern Ireland. We got there. Um, look at that old Renault Laguna. Kind of half, half-heartedly souped up. Or is this Scotland? And I don't think. I don't know. I honestly, don't know. Castletown, Foxdale, St. Mark's. This might be tricky, you know. This actually might take a while and be quite tricky to, to get. I think we start in Northern Ireland because that was just what it felt like. I thought I had it then, Cookstown. If we're in Northern Ireland, it shouldn't take us too long because we're by some pretty high ground. As you can see over there. Trouble is it's quite... Yeah, we can kind of see some high ground here. But these places, Castletown, St. Mark's, Foxdale, could all be quite small and insignificant and hard to find on the map. Castletown sounds like the biggest, but I don't know.
Okay, I haven't found anything yet, but I swear I do recognise Castletown. So I'm just going to have a quick skip over to Scotland. I'm going to look sort of Castletown, St. Mark. I mean, just looking at the buildings here. I mean, we. I'm not ruling out the north of England, to be honest. I mean, they're not exactly Scottish or Irish. I mean, Castletown is quite Northern Irish, but yeah, I'm not ruling anything out. I mean, it could literally be that we're up here somewhere. Or maybe even further south. Yorkshire, even. Lincolnshire. Kent. No, definitely not Kent. Um, God, but in that case, we really have got a ridiculously potentially drawn out search on our hands. Something that I'll have to speed up hugely. Uh, and possibly even just have a stab at, just have a guess at. Um, right, wish me luck. There is no point talking over any of this now. I'm just going to be searching on the map for hopefully a reasonable time because I've got lots of editing to do. Here we go. Can't be up here. It's not Welsh enough. No Welsh anywhere. Oh my god, I think I've got it. Castletown. Could it be that we are in the Isle of Man? I'm not sure, you know. If we see a St. Mark's, then yeah, but it would make sense. So Castletown is that way, so we would be up here. St. Mark's, Foxdale, sweet. Some of you will have will have known from the word go where we were then, and fair play to you. Um, I only really know Douglas and Peel and Ramsey. But yeah, many of you will know Castletown. I mean, culturally, it probably isn't that different to... It, there's probably crossovers with, with Ireland. Um, they do have an ancient language on this island, the Isle of Man, called Manx, which I don't think is spoken very much, but um, is still spoken, I think, by some old fogies. Um, and long may it continue. So we're looking at Foxdale is down there, St. Mark's is north. Doesn't really make sense. No, yeah, St. Mark's is straight up there. It's a bit odd. Could we be... No. Awkward positionings they are, I've got to say. We're on a main road, so some marks... Don't say the compass is wrong on this. Wait, that's... That's confused me. No, they're not in the. They're not pointing in the directions I thought they were. Castletown is down this main road. Foxdale is up there. So, yeah, we're we're there probably. I thought it was the other way around with St Mark's and Foxdale. Uh, yeah, I think so. Is there some sort of junction up there? Yeah, possibly. That bends round. Yeah. Um, I'm fairly sure that that will be it. Just don't want to get this wrong. No, it's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be. St. Mark's is just over the way there. And the road slightly at an angle. Yeah, I'm doing it. 
Are we actually on the junction? Yeah. Final round. There it is. Two yards. Never got the one yard, unfortunately. But how can you when it's off the road? View summary. There it is. That was good. The Kazakhstan one definitely tested me. I'm not bitter about the compass map maker. It, it added... It did add an extra bit of challenge. Um, yeah, it did, to be fair. I, I've never had it where I've been so certain that the compass is right. Um, I'm just glad it, w it wasn't some smaller town. I would have been there all day. That was a good old bit of uh, detective work there. Good old play along. Um, maybe I'll play that again. Maybe I won't. Uh, maybe the old detective map is better. Let me know if you want to see that one or whatever you want to see. Recommend me some great maps that will really... Just, just if anyone knows the ultimate detective map, you know, where, where it's got just the right amount um, for some really magnifying glass out kind of rounds um, and like each other's comments if you know them and think that they're talking sense basically um, also let me know how you did as always in the comments and sign up to the Instagram there's going to be lots of images little short clips and uh, descriptive paragraphs to accompany them and of course um, as always guys thanks for watching thanks for playing along and I'll see you for the next one take care